Hello there. Welcome to Dateline Lagos. I'm Loretta Chiogo. On today's edition, Governor Akil Miambode renews hope in the actualization of the Lekki Freeze Trade Zone as he made his first visit to the zone. And our main focus today is on security in Lagos. How has the police, the agency responsible for securing the environment, fared since the beginning of this administration? Stay tuned. I'll be right back in a moment. You're welcome back. The Lekki Free Trade Zone is obviously one of the huge investments left by the previous administration. Now, the idea was conceived in 2004 by the former governor, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Well, now the multi billion Naira project is already taking concrete shape thanks to the efforts of past administrations. Governor Akil Miambode visited the zone in the past week and gave an assurance that his administration will fast track the development by deploying necessary resources to actualize the project. The Lekki Free Zone is situated in Ibeju Lekki area, Lagos State, and covers a land space of 16,500 hectares. It is a joint venture between the Lagos State government and a consortium of Chinese companies. Lagos State Governor Akin Wumi Ambode was visiting the zone for the first time since he became governor to assess the level of development and to get first-hand information about the project. For over three hours, the governor and his entourage traversed the area. In the course of his tour, Governor Ambode was presented with a visual plan of the project. This is uh uh, layout of the startup area. This startup area is 1.5 kilo square meters. Then we're trading this artificial lake to backfield prepared this land. So this is going to be startup area. This is logistic area, exhibition center, and some commercial hotels and uh, apartments and office building. Just behind you is that uh, 12 story high office complex building. Then they proposed a five-star hotel area around here. The first one is 150 bedrooms. It's a financial model to bring in investors that will get land and put in there. And that's where we make money too, because of the tariff of what is in place to be able to get. If there is one billion bottles of water produced from here, that's what gives it. It is not this building. It is the amount of output, that productivity, that gives the income. Otherwise, we'll be running a failed enterprise. The governor and his team were also shown some of the facilities on ground, including an independent power plant that supplies uninterrupted electricity to the zone. And that would be enough to take everybody. Yes. Yeah. In order to ensure easy access of goods from the zone to the regional and international markets, the state government is planning to establish an airport around the zone and is working closely with the federal government to establish a deep sea port which is already taking shape. Governor Ambode also visited all the multi-billion dollar investments driven by a group of Chinese companies. The Dangote refinery is another giant project under construction. Governor Ambode was presented with the outlay of the refinery. And uh, the vegetation is going on. Now we are removing the vegetation. After the tour, Governor Ambody met with the board and management of the Lekki Free Zone Development Company, during which he was presented with progress report. The whole Lekki Free Zone, of course, it is uh, 165 square kilometers, but for phase one, it is 30 square kilometers for the joint venture. We have several uh, water treatment uh, plants, and the most part roads. Uh, totally inside more than 100 kilometers long. I want to commit to you that uh, we will 
do everything within our power, we have a political will to ensure that this project succeeds, to also ensure that we commence activities before the end of this administration. One key area which I totally agree with you is about the construction of the port. Whether we like it or not, if the port is not in place, the free trade zone is not going to activate the way and manner that we want it. We, we know that there's, uh, there's an arrangement in place about the construction of this port has been there for almost like 10 years. Our own administration, we are going to look at it and review it and ensure that the right set of apparatus is put in place for that port to, to commence construction as early as next year. Just as he was leaving, Representatives of the host communities besieged the exit door. They complained about the absence of basic amenities like electricity. I've come here to give my commitment that we will follow up with this project because it's going to be a major catalyst for the economy of this particular zone and even economy of Nigeria. Whatever it is that we need to do together alongside with the community, we have gotten their commitment today also that we will join us together to move this project forward. The issue of electricity, we are going to look at it. It's surprising that some communities here do not have electricity in the last five years. In the next four weeks, something must happen. And it's totally acceptable. I will make sure that I mean, we bring support to our people. And that's why we're in the And that's what they have told us that we should do. And that's what we do every day in this administration. The Lekki Free Zone was established in 2004, while the development of the project commenced in 2006. It will serve as a leading industry hub in Africa and will attract both foreign and local investors. The project aims to track the industrialization strategy of the state with a new export-free zone, providing ample fiscal incentives, among other unique benefits.